good y'all what's popping it's your girl Nisha Michelle and I am back with another video for you guys period okay well, today as you guys can tell by the title <laughs> your girl is about to do a a, a Peter Man final video y'all basically this is going to be the final video for me speaking on a Peter Man so I'm going to try to cover everything like everything you girl got her notebook a message Feel all the beans, like I'm finna go ahead and get y'all run down from top to bottom because this will be the final video. So I'ma try to answer all the questions, everything, all of this. So before we get into the video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. What is a Peterman? So a Peterman is basically a supplement. It's basically a weight gain that helps you gain weight for people that have like fast metabolism. So yeah, it's basically a weight gain supplement that helps you gain weight, basically like, it slows down your metabolism. So somebody that's like me, they got a fast metabolism, it slows it down. It actually makes food stick to you and get you thick, you know what I'm saying? Look, all I have looking like a sumo wrestler already. Period, now let me stop saying. If y'all did not know, that's what a pitamin is. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the side effects. I had to write it down, y'all, but the rules are like, so, the side effects is heavy tiredness, um, dizziness, diarrhea, irritation, of course, hungry, y'all. That's the whole purpose of it, is to make you hungry. Confusion, amnesia, frequent urination, dry mouth. I know I was having dry mouth when I had it. Those are some of the side effects that I searched and some of them was from personal experience when we taking it. Let me just go ahead and like start talking about the certain side effects. So me personally, I did not experience all of those side effects that I just told y'all. Um, I know for a fact the dizziness I did not, the diarrhea I did not. Um, the only side effects that I got from taking, well, yeah, the only side effects I got from a pediment was the heavy tiredness. So I would be very, like very tired, very fatigued. I was very tired the first two, three days, honestly. Um, irritation, yes. Um, I can't say nothing really about freaking urination because it it forces you to like basically eat and drink. I was very thirsty. I can't witness dry mouth, but as far as frequent urination, I feel like maybe you know what I'm saying it was come, probably coming from me having to having like coming from me drinking and stuff a lot, like drinking water, juice. Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Your girl was real thirsty, like I was real thirsty and hungry. Those were basically the main, main things for me. But as far as the hungerness, it come with it. But the thirstiness, the girl was thirsty too. Like it was giving a two on two type combo. When I drink something, it's like, oh, I ain't had to drink all day and I literally had just drunk something. Okay, so I'm gonna just go down the list because I'm trying to keep this video organized for you guys. So I'm gonna just go down the list of like everything that I put on here that has side effects to it, okay? So well, I'm gonna just gonna read all the side effects that I got from Google and then that I actually experienced myself. So you got amnesia, uh, confusion, diarrhea, frequent urination, irritation, dry mouth, uh, rash, Low blood pressure, dryness in nose, and headaches. And then you got the heavy tiredness for like two to three days, which I put on there myself because I experienced it. So out of all those side effects, once again, I only experienced the dry mouth, the heavy sleepiness, which I feel like everybody's gonna experience the heavy sleepiness because that's the whole point of, you know what I'm saying? A pediment. Yeah, heavy sleepiness, dry mouth, uh, irritation, of course, and then like I said, I'm not sure if the frequent urination came from me just being thirsty and just drinking a lot of fluids and it was just sent me to the restroom, y'all, but I was, but I did not experience nothing. I'm gonna talk about the heavy sleeping, for real, for real, like the heavy sleeping and the feeling fatigue. Um, me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and say, y'all, a pediment does not play, like, as far as having you sleepy, and mind y'all, it only lasts like two to three days, but it do not play. So like, me personally, telling y'all from taking it for so long, like, do not take it on a day where 
you got business to do, you gotta go to work, you gotta go to school, or you just got a productive day for yourself and you wanna fake it, don't fake it. Just wait till like, you, you got a three day streak, at least like three days to yourself when you don't gotta worry about getting up, you don't gotta worry about nothing important to do because I'm telling y'all like, you just not gonna get it done, y'all. Like, I rather just try to go against it. Like, this is me and this the up here me. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take it this day. Knowing I got all this stuff to do right. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take it. And this is what happened for me, like, now. Like, this when I started with taking it recently, I'm like, okay, it's not gonna do nothing to me. I'm gonna take it. My job, I'm thinking I'm gonna be bad wolf because I've been taking it for a long time. Knowing I know, like, I know that I know that you don't play when it comes to the, the draining for the first couple days. I took it, y'all. And when I say I didn't get nothing done, like I tried to. I tried, like I really tried, it wasn't going. So make sure y'all do not take this on no day when you got something to do. <laughs> That's just it, like don't take it. So now we're gonna get into how much I weighed before I started taking it now, currently, and then how much I weighed before I started taking it. So before I start taking it again, which was about two months ago, well, going on two months, um, I was like 117, y'all. So yes, from all my past videos, when I did these videos about Peter Man, I had stopped taking it within that time frame, and I did lose all of that weight that I gained from that time frame. And I feel like it was because I didn't keep up my appetite, you feel me? Like, I wasn't eating, y'all. I was strictly on work, strictly on real life. So I wasn't heck, like taking time out to rice and eat three times a day or four breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. I wasn't going for none of it. Like I was probably eating once or twice a day and it wasn't enough. You know, you must take in like I think 2,000 calories a day. So I wasn't getting that and I lost my weight that I had gained from the past. So current, I was 117 about a month and a half ago, maybe two, going on two months and Currently now I am 130, 120, between 129 and 130. Um, I will probably insert some pictures on this side and this side if I can find some pictures that I took. If I can find the pictures, I'm gonna make sure I insert them on the video so you guys can see them. But yeah, I went from 117 to like 129. The last time I checked my weight, I was like 128, 129. So I'm probably like 130 because I rushed been eating. Day before yesterday, I had like three or four hot dogs. I ain't never, like never. How long have I been taking a pediment? So I did receive a lot of questions about that. Like a lot of people was asking me, how long have you been taking a pediment? Like, do it really work? Um, how long was it before you seen results out of it? I wanna say, I started seeing results in about a week. I ain't even gonna lie, like, <laughs> your girl was eating. So like, within a week, I feel like I gained like three or four pounds, maybe five. I want to I want to stretch it to five. It was definitely five, y'all. But it really depends on your diet and how you eat. Like if you get up and eat you some food, like I'm gonna get into that. I don't want to really jump out of order. But like if you eat, it's gonna it's gonna pump you with an appetite. You just gotta get up and you gotta just eat. Like your job is to eat. All you gotta do is cure your appetite, and I promise you, it's gonna run. On. Like the pounds gonna start coming. You know. Start selling a little weight, you know what I'm saying? Like my arms was not this big, guy. Like real talk, they was not this big. I ain't even gonna lie. When I first started taking it, I feel like I kept my weight in my arms. I ain't gonna stay. I really do feel like I kept my weight, and it's like the weight in my face too, for real. Like I feel like I kept my arms and stuff from back when I <laughs> gained weight a long time ago, and then they just stayed. But I ain't gonna stay. I was going to the gym doing like um so, um like exercises and stuff. So maybe that's why. But y'all, I currently been taking a PD man for two years, y'all. Uh, I ain't gonna stay. That's on and off. Like I haven't really been taking it two years, like straightforward. It's been on and off. Like when I got time, I take it. When I don't got time, I'm gonna take it. So those two years with them consistent and none consistent, like real talk, like I wasn't consistent within two years, but it been two years, if y'all get what I'm saying. So if you go find my other video when I first, first unboxed them, and you compare my own size to the, on my, my own size I was two years ago, y'all will see the difference. Like I probably will pop it on the screen somewhere so y'all can see it. Let me, let me, let me freeze for a minute so y'all can do a comparison. 
Now y'all let me know if y'all see the difference. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I've been taking them for two years and I am currently taking it now. Okay, so we're gonna get into the foods that I feel like you should eat with a pita mint. Now these are my personal food suggestions. So you can really go off of what I give you or you can really go on your own type path, but I'm just gonna get y'all away. I feel like you should eat within, like while taking a pita Vegetables wise, I feel like you should eat greens, broccoli, um, asparagus, peas, and I think I was eating, I like my hair, potatoes. Yeah, it's like, I was eating a lot of potatoes, y'all. Whether they was mashed potatoes or regular whole potatoes. Like, I used to go, if y'all got an abs in y'all city, or y'all state, oh God, they be going off. So, I used to go to Al's and get a potato. If y'all know, y'all know, like, Al's got two, they were really two potatoes together. I used to go get them, and then I cook mashed potatoes, rice, all of that, like, rice are in vegetables, with some protein, but still, like, I was eating all of that. So, if you wanna take notes from me, you can eat you some mashed potatoes, a regular whole potato, a broccoli, asparagus, peas, greens, whatever. Now let's move into high protein foods. I feel like it's good for you if you wanna gain weight with a pita mint. Fish, chicken, tuna, seafood, eggs, beef, all of that. Like, those are single foods I feel like you can just go to. That's not even a meal, y'all. These are just single individual foods. Like, I'm giving y'all that I feel like it's good for you to eat with a pita mint, okay? And beans, beans, any kind of beans, black eyed peas, butter beans, uh, lima beans, all of that. Eat you some beans. They're gonna give you the strength that you want. Like, for real, you're gonna, you gonna be out here ready. You're gonna be a Floyd Mayweather, for real. Like, you're gonna be ready. Now we're gonna get into high-protein breakfast meals. I do gotta look at my notebook for these because I wrote down a lot of stuff, like, from my experience. Uh, baked eggs, baked eggs with mushrooms and spinach, y'all. Um, breakfast tacos, you can eat breakfast tacos if y'all know how to make it, or you can really just put you some sausage in there, some eggs, and you know, just get you a little burrito, wrap it up. Pancakes, you can do banana pancakes, strawberry pancakes, regular pancakes, pancakes in general is good for you to eat. Ham and cheese omelet, so you can make you an omelet with ham and cheese, tomatoes, or you can just do ham and cheese, like it's up to you. What you, how you wanna make your, your own. Steak and eggs, smoked salmon, peanut butter, oatmeal, all of that. Like, oatmeal really gonna be our best friend. I ain't even gonna lie. I haven't really been eating oatmeal. I ate it like twice or three times in the last month and a half. But when I was first taking it two years ago, I seen my weight coming. Like, I was eating oatmeal on a daily basis because I didn't have time to write just fix full breakfast meals with my schedule. So I was basically like on the go type time. So I had oatmeal on the go. I had that instant oatmeal baby. And you can get you some flavor oatmeal, strawberry, banana, blueberry, peach, all that. If you know, you know. And yogurt as a breakfast uh, meal. I mean, you can eat yogurt in the morning. Like it's a little quick. It's a quick breakfast. It's kind of like a snack, but it's still breakfast. You can eat you some yogurt piece of toast or whatever, you know, just some slight, it's still gonna do the do. We're gonna move into high protein meals, like dinner meals, okay? I have Tuscan chicken on here. I'll teach you a salad just to be on the healthy side because we ain't never gonna get into this after again. But if you want to, you can get you a cop salad, you can get you a salad with like ham in it. You can chill a little bit if you just wanna you know what I'm saying? It's a little meat, just a little young. You know what I'm saying? You get you a little cob salad, um, tuna salad. My play baked tilapia on here. Beef tips and rice. Rice is a good thing. Like rice is really gonna stick to you too. It's kind of like oatmeal, baby. It's gonna get it done for real. A fish taco, pasta for sure. Like definitely pasta, y'all. That's another thing that I've been eating a lot lately. Like since I was just currently started taking a few in. Pasta, pasta is gonna do it every time. My personal favorite. Pasta dish, it's gonna be fettuccine alfredo. Get into it, get into it. If y'all don't like fettuccine alfredo, y'all can really eat whatever kind of pasta y'all want to, but I just like fettuccine alfredo. It's my go-to every time, especially when I go to Olive Garden. Your girl are definitely jumping on that fettuccine, okay? Okay, y'all, so let's move into the fruit. I really, I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't really been eating no fruit, like, during this current moment, as far as with a pita man. I haven't been eating fruit for real, but back then I was, so I just put in some 
suggestions from last time. Okay, strawberries, grapes, bananas, plums, pineapples. That was just my go to fruits. I don't really eat cantaloupe like that. Like, I will, but I don't. But I will. But I don't. But I can. I don't got no problem with cantaloupe. Like, we bad I just don't. That's not my go to fruit. But if I got it and it's in my bowl, fruit bowl or something, I'm gonna eat it. You know, I'm not a picky eater when it comes to fruit. But I just, you know. And I'm healthy. Make sure you eat fruit, make sure you eat salad for real, for real, because you don't wanna get no stomach, okay? Because that's what's gonna happen. I mean, you're gonna gain weight too, but you're gonna get some stomach, okay? I do have waist training, y'all. I just chose not to wear it for real, for real. But make sure you eat fruit, make sure you eat salad. You know, even if you cheat and you be just in bed all day, just make sure you pop in the somewhere within them days, that week or so, and eat you a salad, okay? Like you wanna have a whole nother stuff. You wanna have a kangaroo couch. If you want a kangaroo couch, then okay. But me, I don't want no kangaroo couch, okay? So I'm gonna wear my waist trainer. I'm gonna start wearing my waist trainer so they can go down. But I don't really, I ain't got no kangaroo couch for real. But just y'all listen to me. Just make sure you get your food and your vegetables and we gonna get into the gym on the next time. We even gonna make you, Eat. And it's another, it's another thing I didn't tell y'all about opinion, okay? It's gonna make you crave for sweets, okay? It's gonna have you hungry, but it's gonna make you crave for sweets. Like, our righteous was like, oh my God, I'm hungry. Like, I be hungry for sweets sometimes, and sometimes I be hungry for real food. Like, I'm gonna want some steak patties, rice, smothered in gravy, macaroni and cheese. Then the next day, I might want a red velvet cake, key lime pie, peach cobbler type thing. Like, it be trying. It really be trying. So you gotta have a strong mind when you on it, for real, because it's gonna rear you in all type of different directions, baby. You just gotta be on it. If you do cheat, just make sure you do some sit-ups. Or put your way trying to walk around and have to look deep, okay? I received a question and it's like, how do I feel about Peter, man? after taking it for like two years. Me personally, keeping it real with y'all, I feel like it's kind of straight, okay? It's like, it's straight when you got the time for it and you write just like consistent, it's straight. But my personal experience, like I really, I take it. Like I continue to take it for a little while longer. It's really not that bad, honestly. Only part I really don't cope with well is when you haven't taken for a while or you did your first time taking it and you basically have to re-go through the sleeping process, like the sleeping fatigue process. Like when I tell y'all, I done been angry before because I slept so long. Like I wasn't supposed to sleep that long because I had stuff I needed to do. And when I went to sleep, I ain't hear no alarm clock. I ain't hear nothing. A storm could have blew my roof out, and like I really would not even hurt it. Like I would have been uh, knocked out, like right just in a coma type thing. You feel me? So that's the only part I don't like. But other than that, it's straight. Like it gets you thick. It gets you where you need to be at the game. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so well, let's get into the gym. Let's get into the gym, baby. Let's get into these exercises, baby. Let's let's get into it. I feel like. If you gonna take a pyramid, back to what I was saying previously, I do feel like you should go to the gym. At least when you get home, do you some, some crutches, do you some sit-ups, some jumping jacks, some, some hip twists, something, baby, something. When I tell y'all, like, it's gonna definitely go to your stomach. Some of it, like you gonna gain weight everywhere. Like even my face, they got thick. Like it's gonna go everywhere. And so, like you can't really control it, but you can. You can control it, but you can't control it. If that makes sense, like it's gonna go where it wanna go, but you're in control of how it looks where it goes. Okay. To me, it's subjective to go to your body, like your thighs and your butt, but and, and and your arms, maybe you know your face and stuff like that, or your boobs. I ain't gonna lie, cause I got a little, I'm a little boss. You know what I'm saying? But you can control how it look. Like you can make it look muscular, you can make it look sloppy, you can make it look just ugh. Like it's really up to you. And that's what I mean by you have control, but you don't. So just make sure you go to the gym. If you don't go to the gym, like I said, you don't have to go to the gym. I know some people don't have 
gym membership. So, you know, some people don't have time within their schedule to go to the gym. But at least do some exercise on your flow. Like, get on the flow, do some exercise, sit up. So what, is, what is 10 sit ups a day? Like, that really will do some justice and you just don't know. So just make sure you exercise. And if you can go to the gym, at least go like, Twice a week. My overall thoughts about appeasement, the last two years of me taking it, uh, like I said, it's straight. Coming from me because I'm semi consistent and I'm not like, I don't go to the gym, but within my day activities, I get my exercise in for real. So I don't watch this rate at an eight out of 10. I recommend, but I only recommend if you're gonna be consistent. But if you're not gonna be consistent, I don't recommend this for you because it's not gonna give you the results you want. Then okay. I'm still taking it up into maybe like two or three more months, maybe four. I'm really trying to get it like 145, 150-ish. Um, I'm five, one and a half, so I feel like that's a nice little weight for me. I ain't trying to be obese or over my weight size for my half, so I'm gonna stop, but I'm gonna keep the, the consistency going as far as taking it, eating, uh, if you don't have time to eat breakfast, just when you do eat lunch or dinner, double it to make up for breakfast or snack throughout the day so that you can make up for breakfast. Cause snack is really an option. Like you really don't have to eat a snack, but you can, you know what I'm saying? So just, just be mindful, okay? Just be real mindful about how you do it, when you do it. And that's all I have. If you guys have any questions, if it's something that I did not answer, make sure you hit me in my Instagram. I will be putting it in the description box below if it's not on this video. If it's not on the video, it's gonna be in the description box. Y'all can hit me up. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, for real. Hit the subscribe button. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, just hit me up on Instagram. If nobody answer your question in the comments, so if I don't get to your question in the comments after 24 to 48 hours, just hit me in my DM on Instagram, okay? Before I end off the video, I wanna give a shout out to my girl, Erin, period, y'all. Let me, let me go ahead and give y'all a little rundown, okay? Let's get into it, baby. Purchase you a, a Chanel onesie from Erin, okay? It's giving. So I'm gonna make sure I put her link down below, her website link down below in the description box. I will also um, put her Instagram down below too in the description. At the end of the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video to people who, who want to gain weight. If you're trying to gain weight, this is the video for you. If you like the video, if you subscribe, you did your job. Thumbs up, okay? Give me a big thumbs up. Don't play with me, okay? And yeah, stay tuned for my next video.